Here with Diana Consell Magno after a nice victory against the Manhattan Jaspers. They wound up splitting the double header. And, you know, I call all these sports here at the University of Hartford. Um, obviously, my IQ isn't probably at its top level because I got to, you know, go from lacrosse to softball to basketball. Uh, but Alberti winds up throwing awesome four innings. Um, she retired nine in a row at one point. And you got to go four innings to get a victory in softball, unlike baseball, where you got to do five, right? You're a jack of all trades, aren't you? <laughs> you, you, he's amazing, isn't he? Amazing. Um, I go from lacrosse to baseball, softball, and everything. How do you keep that up? Do you have a notepad or something? I, I do, I do. I just got. I mean, lacrosse last night was good. Alberti did a great job throwing. I'm proud of her. She freshman she stepped up today and did a job, and then Sierra did a great job coming in and closing. Yeah. So what did you wind up saying to them? I know you, uh, when they got that first out in the final inning, um, they got a runner aboard, and the representing time run came up. You called time, came back in. It was kind of quick, and the message was short and simple. What'd you say? Relax. This pitch. Focus on this pitch. Like we've been saying, you know, all year, we're talking a lot about closing the door and everything. Go out there and throw you a pitch. In game one, you guys uh, had a golden opportunity. You came up empty with the base loaded. Second game, you wind up scoring five runs. Uh, Melanie Maxwell comes up with a big hit. But let's talk about the play about Shannon Simpkins wind up getting in that pickle, keeping the run alive, and you guys get insurance runs, and it winds up helping you out. Yeah, great thing about Shannon is she's a great base runner, and she's very confident on the base path. So she knows that she can be aggressive and really make game-changing plays. And that's what happened there. She knows what she's doing out there, and I have the utmost trust on her in the base pits. You could totally tell in the second game, uh, once you guys started to get in into some runs, you eventually tied the ball game up, took the lead. They started to have some more fun. Were you saying that in the dugout? Hey, you guys are having fun. You're playing some good baseball, and that's how you, uh, softball, excuse me, and that's how you wind up winning a victory. Baseball, lacrosse, softball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. They had a blast that second game. And that's something that this team needs to do in order to be able to come out and be on top. And they did. They had fun. We've been talking about it a lot. And they took the momentum every time they had it. All right. Well, congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Softball team will wind up traveling up to Siena as they'll take on uh, the Saints coming up on a Wednesday. Doubleheader that starts at 2.30. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for more information.